I'd love to work on the set. Like, that'd be phenomenal. Will Ferrell, because he ad lives most of his shows. He never stays on script. That's uh, true, because at the end of the uh, his shows, they were all the show, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, the best one was when he did uh, Talladega Nights, when they were ad libbing those commercials. I'm talking about stray cats. Yeah, running the name of the street. Stacks of wild dogs. You don't shoot big red. Yeah, do you have comments? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me once. <laughs> Watch this guy. Well, you hit me. I'm Asian. You're gonna miss at least five times. Guys, this is classy grappler with submissions 101. We're gonna show the cock shot. It's gonna demonstrate. This is so awesome. Jiu-jitsu jackasses. Jiu-jitsu jackasses. For sure. Once. To get me again, it's my fault. Apparently, Mr. 300, we found his vulnerability. Me, <laughs> Kim, I just noticed your shirt. You have Jesus on there with a tank. <laughs> what the he's, promote, he's promoting mm -hmm. world peace. <laughs> world peace. <laughs> just show your old dude. They come up with some crazy shit. Interesting shit sometimes. What company is that? Show your old. Show your old. <laughs> so, hey, yeah, everybody's got to get the plug in there. Sorry, what, what's that company? Show your old. Oh, okay. <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> Show your role. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> Nobody knows what it means. It's provocative. It gets the people going. Dude, that is awesome. Am I going to get my start today from you? Not now, you feel. I love you, though. That's your fault, you put them. Okay, you ready, Pete? Ready. Okay, you can just start talking. Hey, hey guys, Pete Wilhelm here with Submissions 101. Show your role, show your role, show your role. James wants to show your role as well. No, but in all seriousness, uh, here we go. Pete Wilhelm. Yes, sir. Okay. Modify. <laughs> Dude, yeah, you know what's going. He was getting, getting hey, Pete Wilhelm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> picture with just the bell. Guys, this is Classy from <laughs> Submissions 101. I'm here with the fucking crew. We got Pete Wilhelm here. We got the man Ari that brought it together and then we got Mr. 300 himself. Uh, guys, uh, I'll start with Pete. What do you feel? How do you feel this morning, man? This is Sparta. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 300, how you feeling about Good. this seminar? Ready to teach. Man, he's so, you know, but now he's like so full of words, but when he starts yeah. teaching, it's a dissertation. Big <laughs> yeah. Ari, how you feel about getting us all together, man? We appreciate it a lot. I am honored to have you guys here. This is badass. Well, guys, we're getting ready to head over to Fierce Studios, do some work, and uh, we'll hit you up after this. Drink almond milk. Drink almond milk. Does a bite. Um, anybody you guys want to thank, we'll start with uh, Spart over here. Show anybody? You, show, show your roll. Show, show your roll. <laughs> show your roll. What about you, Pete? Almond milk. Almond and, milk. And show your roll. Show your roll. Hey, hey, show your roll. I have, I have a thing. Yes. Um, I really like show your roll. I've never had one of their geese before, oh, though. Oh. Nice, yeah, nice, bear, you nice, nice. Come, up, bear. Right. come on, bear. Okay, guys, uh, you know what? I've never had a show your old gi, but, <laughs> <laughs> but he likes black. I, yeah, it's got to be in black. He, and I, he likes it big, too. And I'd like to thank all the unicorns we had to sacrifice for Pete's hey. dinners, Princess Pete. Dude. And um, I'd love to give a big shout out. This is from all of us here. Um, you guys in Texas, TexasMMA.com, Mike Columbus. We thank you so much for getting us out on the Texas scene. My guys back at Elite. Um, Pete's guys back at Triton. Everybody at Foster's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Everybody at Fear Studio, thank you so much for your support. And my guys at OTM and Kawhi Kimono, thank you guys so much. We'll tune in again and I'll sh hit these guys up when we finish this and we'll see how old and sore oh, we look. Wait, one, one more thing, Tyler from OTM, suck it. Get some big <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Hey, you guys, anybody you want to tell to suck it? <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Peace. Uh, there you go. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, people in here with Submissions 101 uh, with whatever is left over from what James Foster ate. <laughs> <laughs> You still hungry? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, don't eat me. Don't eat me, please. Okay. Don't eat me, oh, my God. And I started working the bow and arrow show here for the submission. Part, part one, one of the, latest, yeah. the you could say part one of the most recent black belt or the latest rap, black belt. Yeah, you don't have to say part two because of all label. No, dude, I, I literally like you, I, start, I start, you start snoring. I seriously no. <laughs> like, dude, like, are you serious? I, I wasn't even fucking around, dude. Like I, I, was, I remember, it was like he's explaining. He's like, then you cross the legs, and I was me me. Then <laughs> I wake up. We gotta retake it. So I was so fast out. Like shit, <laughs> shit. All right. This is tall shit right now. Yeah, proper Japanese seiza. There you go. So let me. Yeah, my knees would explode. Let me though. think here for a second. Okay. Hey, Pete, do you want to stand up to be his height? <laughs> <laughs> do the imaginary last. Hold your butt like that. He doesn't have to do imaginary. <laughs> I got lats. They're just really small. <laughs> like little bird wings. You looked at my last one. <laughs> Fairy wings. Fairy wings. Yeah. Yeah. Unicorn. Unicorn. <laughs> So this will be the bow and arrow choke counter off of. Are you just going to go right into the bow? Drag to. Okay. Yeah. No, just say it's the counter from Pete's bow and arrow choke. Yeah. 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 That's enough counter to talk about the whole counter from Pete's awesomeness. Awesomeness. Yeah. yeah but you guys are going to start calling me Sleepy Grappler. <laughs> just start calling me Sleepy Grappler. But the he feels this coming. He starts six o'clock in the skate, and then he's going to grab my leg. I pull the leg out. I take it back. And now I do the leg. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you walk around. You're like, I really thought he was really going to put me out in front of you guys just to show it. I was like, oh But it wasn't yet. Did he know we were drill this time? <laughs> That's just thinking like six steps ahead, all right? That's when you become a ninja. <laughs> I wanted to just show both because there's a lot of guys who are good at just doing shoulder rolls. There's a lot of guys that like to roll, okay? And then there's other ones that I'm just so I'm going to show the two versions, all right? I'll show one that's going to happen to the advanced guys and try the, the pretty nifty looking one, okay? So the first one, what's what I'm doing it, and I actually learned that uh, some of the punch chokes from submissions one one, and I just started throwing my own different little variations in there. So um, I'm a strong believer in YouTube, believe it or not, and I I consider myself educated from going to uh, DVDs and going to YouTube submissions one one. You know, because there's a lot of guys out there when I was learning jiu-jitsu, uh, they weren't wanting to share their stuff. And there's even schools about two or three hours away from me that I'm, I wasn't invited to go to their school as, as a purple belt at the time or as a brown belt at the time. Uh, I only get to see my instructor maybe two, three, four times a year. Um, and it's only for short brief seminars. So I didn't, you know, I, I didn't have that one-on-one -on -one instruction with, with a black belt. And, you know, so I, I started going to submissions one on one. I started going to uh, training DVDs and, and a lot of other resources, picking up a book and just adding that as my game and putting myself in bad positions. And when you guys roll, that's one of the things that you guys should do. You know, don't always roll to try to win here because you know it's it's not going to benefit you when you go to a tournament and then you get put on your butt and you're like, what do I do now? All right, so roll to get put in bad spots so you can learn how to escape, move your hips. You gotta learn how your body works against other people's games. Um, and have fun with it, you know. If you're in here trying to go crazy all the time and you guys roll, you end up getting yourself hurt, um, and your longevity in the sport of jiu-jitsu uh, is, is diminishes. So um, stay stay active with your, your strong hand if you want to do this, um, and have fun doing it. Um, but, you know, go out there and look for the, the resources. You know, you all have a, a great instructor. You know, I've learned a lot from you know myself being a black belt. I've learned a lot from this guy, you know, just by watching his videos. So look at the videos, you know, look at DVDs, pick up a book, bring in people, you know, go to, if you know there's a seminar in the area, go to that seminar. Take advantage of any any resource that comes your way to expand your knowledge. All right.